Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar was from Lubbock, Texas. He volunteered for military service and enlisted in the Army in 2012 as an infantryman after graduating from Texas Tech University. After basic training and infantry school, he decided to join the Special Forces. He was assigned to the Special Warfare Training Group in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, as a candidate for Special Forces Assessment and Selection. After graduating the Special Forces Qualification Course, he became a Special Forces Engineer Sergeant and served two combat deployments to Afghanistan. He also had a wife named Michelle and two sons, Jackson and Tyler. He was sent to the country of Mali in Africa, where he stayed in the American Embassy on-site housing. He shared this with other members of the United States Special Forces, but he didn't have a good relationship with some of the other members. While he was in Mali, he would call his wife and talk with her whenever he had the chance. One day, he told Michelle that he had a bad feeling about some of the guys he worked with, but he would tell her the full story once he got back home. On June 4, 2017, he was found dead because of asphyxiation. He also had a mutilated throat and upper body. Shortly after his death, two members of SEAL Team 6 were flown out of Mali and placed on administrative leave as persons of interest during the investigation into Logan's death. The Navy SEALs lied and said that they found Logan dead in his room. The cuts on his throat were a result of a failed tracheotomy. Then they lied again by saying that Logan had shown up for grappling training while drunk. The two SEALs said he accidentally died while they were applying a rear naked choke during their grappling session. However, a toxicology report showed that Logan did not have drugs or alcohol in his system. People who personally knew Logan said that he did not drink at all. That was when the SEALs admitted that the first two explanations were lies and that Logan died in a prank gone wrong. The plan was to break into Logan's room, duct tape his wrist and ankles, then film him being sexually assaulted by a local man. They said that they did not mean to kill him and just wanted to haze him. During the investigation, there was an allegation that Logan had discovered that the two SEALs had stolen cash earmarked for paying local informants. They allegedly offered to cut Melgar in, but he declined, and he told the two that he would report them. The two SEALs denied this allegation, and it was never proven. In November 2018, two SEALs, Petty Officer Anthony E. Dodolph and Chief Petty Officer Adam C. Matthews, along with two U.S. Marine Corps Raiders, Gunnery Sergeant Mario Madera Rodriguez and Staff Sergeant Kevin Maxwell Jr., were charged with the felony murder of Logan Melgar, along with other crimes. I tried to find pictures of all of them, but I could only find a picture of Anthony Dodolph. Anthony Dodolph had pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter and received 10 years in prison, reduction to E1, forfeiture of pay, and a dishonorable discharge. He was a former professional mixed martial artist and was the one who put Logan in the choke that killed him. Mario Madero Rodriguez had taken a gamble by pleading not guilty and going to trial. He was convicted of involuntary manslaughter as well as conspiracy to commit assault and battery, conspiracy to obstruct justice, hazing, and making false official statements. Kevin Maxwell Jr. had pleaded guilty to negligent homicide, conspiracy to commit assault, hazing, obstruction of justice, and making false official statements. He was sentenced to four years of confinement, a reduction in rank to E1, and a bad conduct discharge. Adam Matthews pleaded guilty to conspiracy and related charges. He was sentenced to one year of confinement, reduction to petty officer second class, and a bad conduct discharge. Months before he pleaded guilty, he approached Logan's widow, Michelle, at a costume party in Las Vegas. He introduced himself under the fake name, Mike said he was a friend of Logan's and got Michelle's number. He tried to convince her that Logan's death was an accident, not murder, and that the SEALs did nothing wrong. The next day, he sent Michelle a text asking her if he could take a nap in her hotel room. Michelle rejected his advances and told a Green Beret friend what had happened. That Green Beret sent a text message to Adam stating, This is a friend of Mrs. Melgar. She doesn't have visibility on this. Read carefully and heed this message. You will lose her number and will not contact her again. Your sentiment may be from a place of loyalty. However, in this situation, it is completely inappropriate and unbecoming of a member of our community. This is a black mark on the SEAL community, and your efforts are keeping the wound open. Do not contact her again. Actions have consequences. 
Adam didn't listen to the warning and continued texting her. He wrote, I think we should sit down somewhere private before the craziness begins tonight. Things are extremely strange right now. That was an unbelievable coincidence last night, but I hope you understand that I only wanted to talk to you. I have had no intent otherwise as soon as I found out your background. I sincerely apologize for any misunderstanding. Michelle blocked Adam's phone number and flew back to Fort Bragg, where she asked prosecutors for pictures of the men accused of killing her husband. Even though Adam was dressed as Rambo at the costume party, she immediately recognized him from the photograph. Adam's lawyer claims the interaction was an innocent coincidence with zero romantic intent. Years later, Adam Matthews is a free man and is the co-owner and director of special projects for a private defense organization. He was even on a podcast called the P-Dub Podcast, where he brags about being a Navy SEAL. He has a girlfriend and a son now, and said that he feels like he's lived a great life and had an amazing experience. He fails to mention his involvement in hazing and killing Logan. This podcast can be found on Spotify and YouTube. The links are in the description below. That's the end of the video. If you like the video, then like and subscribe. It only takes two seconds and it would really help me out. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. Leave a comment below on who I should talk about next.